Hey Pyromancers, Andrew, Day 2 Dryden, recording here with Judge Jan, we're playing Modern, Boros Burn, and uh, we're here in round 5, we got a 3-1 record, we're hoping to go 4-1, uh, two weeks in a row, uh, yeah, I don't know, feeling good? Yeah. I'm feeling good, alright, we're, we're on the draw, right? Yeah, we're on the draw unfortunately, and we're also going to have to mulligan, this hand is not great, a 1-lander with only 2 cards I can cast, and yeah, it's it's not great, so this is this is a definite mulligan. Um, this is, this is a keep, but it's not a good one. Uh, I can cast three spells, sort, uh, I can't even really cast this. Cast two spells. But I don't want to go down to five. Going down to five is just so bad. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, not knowing we're up against, I think I get rid of the second helix, but it's, I'm not super thrilled with this hand regardless. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to go to five. Right, like I can't, I can't just keep attacking with a grizzly bear for ten turns. My cards are literally capped at the amount of damage they're sort of able to do. Yeah. Maybe not my idol on, but my spells, you know. Uh, okay, oh. okay, we okay. Prime. Yeah, yeah, amulet titan. Amulet titan. Okay, titan. that's okay. Uh, well, I mean, this isn't the best situation, but I do have an answer to this. So, provided it doesn't get too stupid too fast, we, like, if we draw land next turn, we might, we might be able to be okay here. They didn't go turn one amulet, so that's good news. Um, okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. This is fine. I think I probably need to hold up a bolt. Okay, ah, oh, no. My, my concern is if they go Azusa next turn. Okay, I think I think if they go Azusa next turn, I'm probably going to be dead. Even if they get yeah. two land drops instead of three next turn. So without, for that without an amulet, they they have a finite amount of uh, right. They get. Uh, yeah, that's fair. But I okay, okay, oh. all right, that's acceptable. I would really like to draw land. I don't know what I'm going to do if I do, but I would. That's definitely what I want to draw. Come on, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, this is like never getting out of my hand if I don't get rid of it now. Yep. So there we go there. What are they at? She's 14. 14. Ugh. All right. Well, um, I mean, people are like, oh, why are you keeping four land hands and four land hands, Andrew? You'll just draw lands the rest of the game. Well, when I keep one land hands, I don't. Oh, this card's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. That's a kind of a beating, uh, not in your opener uh it's still good but like yes don't you dare feel bad for my opponent right no, now what do you think's going like, on with it's me like, it's like a general like yeah assessment of the card the what card it, is good oh man this eidolon on turn oh my god this eidolon on turn two would have been great would have actually like got in a couple of attacks by now yeah would have got this once upon a time out of here Okay, so they've got, is that five mana five now? Mana. Oh, oh, okay, and I, uh, well, all right. Let's draw my land. Yeah, that's probably what'll happen. I'm getting too tilted. I'm not paying attention. I should have bolted them last turn as well, obviously. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. Yeah. I have a good answer to that. I would really like to draw a land, though. Land would be good. Land would be good. This Bone Crusher Giant is looking not very good right now either. No. Okay. They have eight cards. Giant, I would assume. Yeah. All right. So we had six turns to draw out of our not great hand, and uh, it didn't happen. So, okay, well, F6. Because yeah. I think they can kill me here, right? With what? Will they make it... Uh... They oh, right, because it's right, because they, they, don't, they don't have an amulet. Oh, man. I had six turns without an amulet. Wait! If I draw a land, I can bolt it twice. You can, yeah. <laughs> oh, you suck, Radiant Fountain. They're playing main deck Radiant Fountains. Hmm. Oh, come on! Ah. See how bad this gets. See if they show us anything. I can't believe I didn't draw a land in the top 13 cards, or a second land. Oh well, that's magic for you. That's why Luis Scott Vargas can lose to anybody.
Could lose to me. Like Wouldn't statistically, play. no. But right. Hypothetically, yes, hypothetically. but statistically, no. Te- technically correct. Man, I wish I had those deflecting palms right now, too. Yeah. Although I also couldn't cast those. It's true. It's, it's true. So, yeah, every time people are like, oh, four land hands are horrible, you'll just end up drawing seven lands. Really? Because if I drew four land, if I started with four oh, lands. This is. <laughs> well, I mean, we've lost anyway. Like, this is. It's not. It's. It, yeah, it's not a thing. Yeah. It's just, it's going it, to. They'll kill us that way instead. Right? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We have those molten rains <clears throat> for just such an occasion. What are they, what are they still doing? Can't you just, like, kill me already? I'm going to cast their Azusa. Now. There's the Azusa. <sighs> we could bolt it now, send a message. It doesn't matter. But we could. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad that's, you're here. That's that's what you do. Should <laughs> I'm going to have to have him bolt the zombie. <laughs> Oh, which one though? There'll be so many to choose from. Uh, all right, all right. Let, let's. All right, next game. Next game. Yeah. It's that's... get. It's it's getting late. That's, that's enough of this. I'm getting tired. I'm making. Uh, <laughs> I'm making loose plays already. Let's. Uh, here. Do I? I think. Did I make an amulet titan cyborg guide? I can probably figure one out. But if I've already made one. All right. So we want paths. We want molten rains. No, they won't be using uh, Scape Shift. No. We want... Eidolon's not good. Oh, right. We need ways to answer Amulet. Uh, 65 cards, eh? Searing Blaze isn't great. Mm, I don't think so. It's not... I. You know what? I'll keep it for the... Mm, I'll, mm, okay, I'll keep two. If it's like the last spell of a game, like yeah. I, I'm fine... Like killing them with it or on the play i can hit a sakura tribe yeah. scout or whatever with it. it it's fine enough um it's not i'm not thrilled with it. rift bolt's pretty weak this is a fast matchup bone crusher giant's not great i don't think no. no this isn't this is like this is a race sorry bone crusher giant sorry bud love you but uh just not not today i have enough three mana spells as it is do they have life gain in the deck i'm trying to remember uh, radiant fountain oh <sighs> You know, what, on the pl- actually, I'd rather have a skewer and take out a take out the last oh, rift bolt. I'd rather do th- I'd rather do that. Yeah, and uh, I will maybe make a note of. Oh, come on, no mulligan. <sighs> oh, not like this. Well, I mean, we're keeping. Yeah. Get rid of the skewer and the skull crack. Um, I'm tempted to get rid of the swift spear. Have you, have you rid of two? Yeah. I'm tempted to get rid of the swift spear and the skull crack. I can bind that. Just because I'm already spending mana on these. And, like, yeah. it's probably going to be a one two for the most part, the way my hand is lining up. Yeah. Uh, I... Oh, they also mulligan five. Wow. Okay. Well, I still think this is like the fastest hand that we can keep yeah. or whatever. So, obviously, we really want to draw land on turn two again. But, uh... and for all the people who are like, oh, he mulligans or he keeps all these four land hands. Well, look what happens when you go down to five. Is this better? I would say this is not really better. Uh, we gotta grab. the big problem is now we're just going to be drawing in lands well there's no real way around that uh there was someone who asked me one time about that regarding tron and i'm like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you draw the lands like you need them to be dead like that just needs to be what happens land 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 not great but that's okay double goblin guide is still very strong come on 
Uh, all right. Well, we've got a clock. Yep. Um, we can hit them for ten next turn. So far, uh, none of their lands come into play on tap. This is also true. That they've kept. Just don't find a radiant fountain. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I'm, that's that's good. Okay, so they're gonna play an Azusa next turn. Um. Oh yeah, because they yeah, have a forest, have and then forest, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. And they discarded a. Okay. So. So they play Azusa. I don't want a path in Azusa. No. I so want a path play, of Primeval Titan. They play in Azusa, which means they have to play their untapped forest, which yeah. means we know they have Teleria West. So Yeah. I don't know. I think this is probably our best yeah, shot. Yeah. I think so too. Because if they don't block next turn, they're dead. Yeah. I think they probably will. Ugh. Uh, that comes in untapped. Yeah. That's really oh, that's bad. ridiculous. I assumed it came in tapped. Teleria West and Okay. 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 Okay, well, if they don't block, I win. If they do block, it uh, means I have to hold up a path, I think. I, I have to hold up a path. This yeah. turn. I'm going to lava spike and hold up a path, but I'm just trying to decide if there's a difference between which creature I kill. I think technically the Azusa is better to get rid of. Yep. So I think I just leave it the way this is. Um, Azusa lets them put more lands into play per turn. And uh, I mean, I'm kind of showing my hand here a little bit, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if there's a better way to do that turn, but I can't think of any reason that that is worse. I'm not honestly really that worried about them getting the Titan. Um, I can draw a, a bolt or something and and just win here if they don't gain life. Oh no, because if they get the Titan, then they can get a growth chamber or something, and then they can. Um, yeah. Right, that's the problem. But, but actually, even if that happens and I draw a bolt, I can still get them. I can still get them from six. Well, no, and so the other thing is like so they don't have oh oh this is interesting mm -hmm. okay so this gets them Ugh. Uh, i haven't lost oh, this way this, in a while this is fine why path if you path this yeah one two three four five no, because I'm gonna no. What's gonna happen is they're gonna this is gonna resolve. They're gonna cast a Summoner's Pact. I'm gonna die on my upkeep. Oh yeah, that's that's fair. how this that's how this deck used to win when it had Summer Bloom. That's fair. Uh, I think we are dead. Well, there's no well whatever yeah. here. There's no point in like. There's no point in letting them get a free path and whatever. So this will resolve, yeah. and then and things will be what they'll be. Oh, okay, well, I actually didn't. I don't actually know how this card works, so. Okay, as if the last card in your hand is exactly Summoner's Pack. Uh, oh, right, it has to be a green creature. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow. That's unfortunate. GG. That's really unfortunate. Oh well. This deck is very strong. Mulligan to five. Didn't hit a land for quite a while. Nothing we can really do about it. No. That's that's an unfortunate way to uh, end the league, but whatever. What are you going to do? It happens. That hive mind, I have not seen. No? In a while. Yeah. So did, you didn't play modern when that. Thing oh, I, did, was... I did play modern when it. Well, I didn't play modern when it came out. Right. I about modern. But, like, I haven't actually seen anyone play, like, cast hive mind. Yeah, it yeah, uh, forever. when when before Summer Bloom was banned, yeah. that was the other way the deck won. It won by like Primeval Titan, or it could do it that way as well. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I haven't uh, haven't had that happen to me in quite a long time though. All right, so 
Ugh. That was our uh, matches for this week. We're gonna do a quick deck tech review of the uh, uh, review of the deck. Uh, so if you want to stick around for that, awesome. See you there. If not, this has been Jan from the Spike Feeders. Make sure to subscribe to their content. It's great stuff, especially if you love EDH. Other than that, I've been uh, Andrew Day Two Dryden, and it's been a pleasure to have you here. Uh, anything else you want to say to the non deck techers? No, that was rough. Don't, don't play hive mind yeah Who come on boo that's boo an EDH card. that's in that is isn't it no oh okay i was like i've never seen it in edh but i don't i'm not a frequenter so anyway like i said hope to see you there okay so here we are back in the deck tech screen here and uh because jan does, has only recently got into magic yeah. online um he's never opened up a treasure chest before so this is what they look like they're part of the prizing um that's usually offered it's uh you usually if you win anything usually win your entry back plus, plus uh some treasure chest something so nice. you get uh three you get three things guaranteed one of them is at least i think it's five play points okay uh use play points to enter yeah. right here we're familiar with i'm, I'm vaguely familiar with okay that. right so none of this term will go with token nonsense. yeah no like. no Basically, I guess the only use I have for them is if you have 100 play points, that gets you into a modern league. Mm -hmm. So you're guaranteed to get five of them. That's like a good return on it. Yeah, it's not bad, right? Yeah, 20, and you can... 20 leagues and you can get a... Yeah. Well, you can, and you can sell... Or you can sell the the chests to the vendors for... Mm -hmm. I think it, it changes. I think right now it's like 2.3 ticks or something, right? So, again, yeah, like you're, you're... That gets you like... I guess that would be like the equivalent of 23 play okay. points or something yeah. like that uh yeah so sometimes you get more play points but you're guaranteed to get at least five as one of the three things you get so uh anyway okay so let's open this up so you just click on it you go open one of these goes, are you really 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 sure yes and so we got five. Oh, cool so we got a blast zone and uh <laughs> so that so, is actually an edh card that, i was gonna say i do know that yeah, one that, that one is, is actually an edh card that's funny uh, I don't always do this, but I usually like to check and see what I actually ended up opening. Blast Zone seems like a uh, an actual valuable card. Um, MTGO Tra I use MTGO Traders for most of my stuff. Not sponsored. Um, I've always found them to be pretty pretty good. Uh, send 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 the check. <laughs> so let me just quickly check. Blast Zone. Blast Zone is currently worth 4.6. Sorry. Well, 4. Point, they're buying it for 4.6. Sick. That's double what we got for some Yeah, chest. absolutely. And I don't think I have any use for this in Burn or Merfolk Probably or anything. Not. So, yeah, I can, I can get rid of this yeah. thing. I can sell this for a while you. Nice. Cool. So, and then, oh, I guess I should check out Safi. I'm pretty sure that's worth nothing to, or worth nothing. Uh, I don't know. What's the lowest it can be worth? uh one penny but okay. that mean if it's that that means they're usually probably not even buying it <laughs> like if it's not that is oh two f's two f's it is worth two cents Did it. they are buying it for one sorry for six hundredths of a cent yeah I think I'll I think I'll hang on to some it. Boon Weaver Giants. That's, That's like <laughs> old combo, but still really good. Yeah. Anyway, cool. So awesome. We got a good open. Okay. So what do we think of the deck? Uh, Bone Crusher Giant was good when it showed up. Uh, we sideboarded it out when we didn't really love it, but even on the main deck when it wasn't great, mm -hmm. it was usually good enough. It was great against Burn. It was good against what else? What else? Oh, it was good uh, really against, against that, that weird that, fairies that weird fairies deck. That was good. Um, yeah, so Bone Crusher Giant confirmed a versatile and good card. Yeah. Uh, hands when you get stuck on one land confirmed bad. Um, Eidolon was good when it showed up and we were able to cast it. It would have been good even when it showed up and we couldn't cast it. That's the crazy thing. Mm -hmm. Searing Blaze. Did we need more copies today? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Like, we're not seeing these decks. Uh, humans yeah. is nowhere. We even know it. Even against that Elementals deck, right? Like, it just it wasn't necessary. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I like it. 
I like the deck as it's currently constructed. I think this makes the most sense for what I'm expecting to run into, which granted is a lot of random stuff. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of random stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't have ball lightnings. Ball lightnings would be Light. something. Yeah. That well, it costs three, right? Yeah. Well, then we have to kick out the Bone Crusher Giants for the curve. Who's a six-one? Just play lightning skeletals because you have bloodstained mires, so you can get swamps. That's true. And yeah. Just go from there. No one will expect it. Well, I could just play a single Blood Crypt, and then I've got, like, nine ways to get it. Yeah, that's true. Why not? I think just... Skelemental... No, oh, Skelemental's two red. Two red and a black, not yeah. one red and two black. Correct. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Brand new tech. You heard it here first. Or then we even switch into Rakdos, then we're playing, like, Grey Merchant. Just destroy the mirror. You just, like, drain him for two, though. Yeah, I know. It's pretty <laughs> bad, right? Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. We're not playing Grey Merchant. No. I hate Grey Merchant. Uh, but the sideboard, uh, the Smash, Smithereens, never. we didn't play against any Artifact decks. It's kind of a weird league. Yeah. Yeah. What was the first, what did we play against first that we lost to? Uh, Abzan. Yeah. We guess we could have had more Graveyard Hate, could have had more Paths, but yeah, I don't know. Overall, I mean, I think this is a pretty balanced way to build the deck, and I, I really like it like this. I don't really. I wouldn't really make any changes. Yeah. Okay. I cool. Thought, yeah. Awesome. So your uh, your inaugural visit here. How was good? You? Yeah. Three and two. Positive result. Woo! And you definitely kept my head in the game a couple times. I think there were a few times I was trying to maybe like hang out while also hang out with the oh, viewers. Yeah. But there were definite times where you're like, Andrew, what are you doing? Oh, a a bad thing. So I appreciated the uh, the help, and it was nice. It kept kept my mental health. Uh, Get me in the positive frame of mind here. Mental health is important. Mental health is very important. People like don't. Oh man! I tell people all the time when they're playing in long tournaments, like go outside, take a break, walk away for a little bit. It's so easy. It's it's so easy to get trapped. Yeah, for that toxicity to get into you. Anyway, cool. So hopefully you enjoyed the league this week. This has been Andrew. Day two, Dryden. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out the Patreon page. To I don't know if you donate, if you watch the channel, if you get enjoyment or you value out of the content. In addition, check out the free, uh, no paywall sideboard guides and deck techs. And uh, if you got a little bit extra time lying around, or maybe some extra Patreon dollars to throw around, again, don't forget about uh, the spike feeders. They do good stuff. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah. Either way, it's been great. Hope to see you next time.